Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss how to work with environment variables in Dynamics 365 Power Apps. Environment variables are a new way to store configuration values. Normally we create custom entities to store configuration values which are uh, uh, different to specific environments. So to store some configuration values we use environment variables which is a part of power apps uh, uh, configurations so let's see how environment variables are created and how to use it in our applications uh, when writing plugins or custom workflows and all that so you have to go to the solutions first then you have to go to create new then click on environment variables and here you have to give it a display name for the environment variable let's say i want to give a name as admin email and the name will be automatically populated give a description this is the admin uh, key or admin email now here we have to choose a data type what data type your uh, environment variable should store it may be text it may be boolean it may be json or it may be decimal number let's say it is text for now now the next is default value for a for every environment variable you can assign a default value which will remain same for all uh, environments but you can override with a current value right let's say my default value for this environment variable is admin under it uh, subchief.com and as i am in development environment i want to give another value called it's dev at the rate subchief.com so if current value is not given then the value for the environment variable will be picked by the default value okay so current value actually overrides the default value by setting the uh, it overrides the default value if you set the current value okay so i have done this so the plus point of using this environment variable is whenever you migrate your solution with the environment variable to upstream then while importing the solution it will ask to provide a new configuration value for the environment variable so that it is not required to do any extra activity in coding or any configuration you just give the environment variable a value while importing the solution and that's all so this is the ease of uh, working with environment environment variables now click save as soon as you save this the environment variable will be created in your solution as this is created for me now in my solution so this is my environment variable now to use it in our plugins or custom workflows or any custom codes then you have to use fetch xml because uh, environment variables are stored in two entities one is called as environment variable values and and the third and second is environment variable definition okay so to query a specific environment variables from the environment from the instance you have to first go to advanced find by clicking this and uh, once it is open you have to search for the or look for the entity called as environment values environment uh, variable values then you have to join with uh, environment variable definition and here you have to give what is the display name of your variable so let's say display name equals to admin email right i have given because my variable name is admin email so i can give your admin email then i can click result so that i can see what are the default values or current values that has been assigned to this environment variable right so this is the value that has been assigned which is the current value right now using this fetch xml i can uh, use this fetch xml in any plugins or custom workflows whenever i need right so this is the beauty of using environment variables which is very very easy to configure and uh, no need to store configuration values in custom entities okay so thank you for watching this video i hope this helps in your development activities 
we will come with some more videos in next uh, time thank you